This is an overview of the network configuration. This process is going to be the same for the DCP 2000s, DCP 2K4s, and Showvault servers. Open the network configuration, enter in the proper password, and select OK. Once the network configuration window opens, you will not have mouse control, so you will need to use the arrows and the enter key on the keyboard. Also note that if at any time during this entire process you are unsure about the information, please consult with your network administrator. The first window you're going to be presented with is asking for your system's host name. For this example, I'm going to leave my system's host name as DCP2000 and press enter to go to the next window. Next, it's going to ask for your system's domain name. Again, I'm just going to leave it as default and then enter. And you're going to be asked to configure Ethernet 0. Select yes and enter. You're going to be asked if it's a removable device. In this case, it is not because it's actually on the motherboard and it's not an optional card. Select no to go to the next window. Do you want to automatically configure the device with DHCP? We're going to select no because we want to give it a static IP. Enter in your IP address and press enter to go to the next window. Your gateway router and then enter and your subnet mask and then enter. Next it's going to ask if you want to configure your Ethernet 1. You can follow the same steps as Ethernet 0 but please note that both ports cannot be under the same subnet. So I do want to configure. It is not a removable device and I do not want to configure as DHCP. This is my previously configured IP address for Ethernet 1. I do not have a gateway, and that is my subnet mask. Now the last window you're presented with is your system's domain name server. Again, if you're unsure about this information, please consult with your network admin. After you enter through this window, the network configuration window is going to automatically close. This means that your settings have been saved. To confirm, go to Menu, Doremi Apps, Diagnostic Tools, and under the System tab, confirm that your network addresses are correct. If they are, you're done.